one Saturday every month in the spring and fall, Walton's Distillery in Onslow County holds an open house. It includes a large country-style buffet. Plate ain't big enough. It ain't big enough. And entertains visitors with bluegrass music. After we run the strip and run there, we'll run it into this still. Don Walton owns the distillery. He's an attorney by trade, but he's been fascinated with the distilling process as far back as he can remember. And Walton says that honoring his family heritage was very important to him as he was starting his own distillery. All of our products are, are my grandparents. Uh, you know, Junior Walton's my grandfather. Ian's my great-grandfather, Kitty's my great-grandmother, and now we have Mag Walton's uh, products, and that's my great-great-grandmother. After, in fact, I'd opened and was, had already started making our whiskey in 2015, my uh, cousin Norwood Rochelle, he came in, and he's like in his mid-70s. He'd been making moonshine for over 50 years the illegal way, and he had a desire to he wanted to share that with me. He wanted to pass it on. And that's something he said his father taught him and that his grandfather taught his father. And, and I figured, well, this is a golden opportunity. This is our moonshine still. It's about a 130 gallon uh, rig. And uh, when Norwood, initially we were making it a small copper still and I wanted to keep it something like he would have used in the woods. So we went to a local salvage yard and acquired the main components. We used this faithfully for several months after Norwood passed. Uh, it developed a leak. The uh, copper tank started leaking and water was getting into it. So rather than tear it apart to fix it, since he built it, as he built the steel, I just retired it up front and we replaced it with a copper coil. This is our strip and steel for our corn whiskey. We have a 60 foot copper coil in that uh, tank there. We make two products. We make corn whiskey which some of it is bottled and sold as uh, corn whiskey and then some other whiskey is put in barrels to age for bourbon. When Norwood came into picture, we started doing the moonshine. He loved to play music and he had a, a very good reputation in the state of North Carolina as a, a bluegrass fiddler, a musician. He mixed the bluegrass and the moonshine. And anybody that really knew him knew that he made moonshine, knew that he played bluegrass. After he passed uh, to carry on the tradition, you know, that crowd of people that would go congregate at his place had nowhere to go. They knew Norwood was very involved here, so we started having uh, the bluegrass events, and we actually call it distillery sessions. We either have bluegrass or classic country. many years had played uh, music with uh, Norwood Rochelle and uh, Mr. Rochelle came over here and he was uh, very influential in helping Don and the boys over here get started in uh, making this moonshine and we played a lot of music together and uh, then Don invited us to come down when he opened the distillery and we were one of the first groups to ever play here. And then this one's 80 and Thanks, this guys. one's 100. It's not surprising that a tasting booth at the open house is one of the highlights. Pine shine colada it's pineapple, coconut, kind of has like a Malibu rum kind of taste to it. Really good cold. Just a Throw it in a blender with some pineapple juice and throw some fruit in there. I got you guys. In the food, we always have pulled pork, fried chicken, Brunswick stew, and then the owner here, Don, his family, they'll always bring out all the sides, the collars, the chicken and dumplings, crock pots full of just great home cooking food. Free food free entertainment, get an opportunity to visit distillery, free tastings, uh, guarantee everybody that attends their open house events to have the best time. It's a good down home family feeling. It's, it's sort of like a, an old time family reunion. I would invite you to bring your family, your friends out, your mama, your daddy, your kids. It's a good family oriented place and uh, you just have a good time. You can find Walton's Distillery at 261 Ben Williams Road in Jacksonville, and they host their next open house on Saturday, May 26th, from noon till 5. For more information, give them a call at 910-347-7770 or go online to waltonsdistillery.com.